Have you ever looked up and felt small? You stare at the night sky. Billions of stars scattered like glitter across an endless black canvas. And for a moment, you wonder, where does it all end? Or does it ever end at all? We call it the universe. But those eight letters can't even begin to describe how vast, how truly unimaginable it is. Today, we'll travel through everything from our small blue home to the edges of what human eyes can ever see and even beyond. Our fragile home. It all begins here, planet Earth. A sphere just 12,742 kilometers across, wrapped in thin air, floating in an ocean of space. From up here, you can't see borders, no nations, just one world, tiny, glowing, fragile. The distance to our moon, a mere 384,000 kilometers, a trip that light makes in just 1.3 seconds. Seems close, right? Until you try to go farther. The sun, our life giver, is 150 million kilometers away. That's so far that even light, traveling at 300,000 kilometers per second, takes over eight minutes to reach us. But let's zoom out. Beyond the sun, beyond Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, the planets fade into specks. And beyond them lies a mysterious shell called the Oort Cloud where the icy leftovers of creation drift. From there, our entire solar system, everything we know, fits inside a single pixel on a galactic map. The sun is just one star. Our sun feels enormous, and it is. You could fit one million Earths inside it, but even our star is ordinary. There are stars out there so gigantic, they make our sun look like a candle next to a mountain. Take UY Scuti, a red supergiant over 1,700 times larger than the sun. If you placed it where our sun is, it would swallow Mercury, Venus, Earth, and even Mars. And yet, even UY Scuti is just one of 400 billion stars inside our galaxy. The Milky Way. The Milky Way. The Milky Way is a cosmic city of stars. A spiral 100,000 light years across, spinning through space at 2.1 million kilometers per hour. Every bright dot you see in the night sky Every wish, every constellation, belongs to this one galaxy. If you traveled at the speed of light, it would still take you 100,000 years to cross from one side of it to the other. And remember, light speed is the fastest anything can go. So even if you left Earth today, by the time you reach the other end, humanity might not even exist anymore. And yet, our galaxy is just one among trillions. Beyond our galaxy, the nearest galaxy to us is Andromeda, 2.5 million light years away. That means the light you see from it tonight left before humans ever existed, before cities, before civilizations, even before the first sparks of fire. Andromeda and the Milky Way are actually on a collision course, set to, merge set to merge in about 4 billion years. When they collide, their stars won't crash. They'll just dance through each other, creating one gigantic new galaxy, Milkamita. But that's just two galaxies. We live inside a small cluster of about 50, the local group. Zoom out more and you'll see thousands forming the Virgo supercluster. 
And beyond that, superclusters connect to even grander structures, woven together into something extraordinary. The Cosmic Web. This is the Cosmic Web. Imagine a giant 3D spider web. Each thread made of galaxies, glowing faintly against the void. These filaments stretch across billions of light years, and between them are massive empty spaces called voids, where there's almost nothing at all. It looks eerily familiar, like neurons in a human brain. And maybe, in a way, the universe itself is alive, thinking, evolving, expanding. The edge of what we can see. Now, we arrive at the edge. The observable universe. A sphere 93 billion light years across. Beyond this, light has never reached us. Those regions exist. But they're forever hidden because space itself is stretching faster than light can travel. The farther we look, the older the light becomes, until we reach the cosmic microwave background, the faint glow of the Big Bang itself still echoing after 13.8 billion years. But remember, the universe hasn't stopped expanding. So while the light we see is 13 billion years old, those galaxies are now far beyond that distance moving away at unimaginable speed. The universe is not just big. It's growing, faster and faster, with every passing second. Reflection, you are part of it. And somewhere in that infinite ocean of galaxies is you, a creature made of atoms forged in ancient stars. Every cell in your body, every breath, every heartbeat was born from cosmic dust billions of years ago. You are literally made of the universe. You are the universe. Experiencing itself for a brief moment in time. So next time you look at the night sky, remember you're not looking out into space. You're looking back into your own origin story. We are the universe, trying to understand itself.